Well, Leroy, how are you doing today? Not too bad, I suppose. Great. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about TriCap and how you were involved with our agency? Well, uh, I got involved with this uh, TriCap. I had heard about it before a long time ago. And how we got involved is that Dustin had some speech problems. He was a year and a half old and never said a word. Oh, wow. And uh, so they suggest we get in contact with a group out of Furland from uh, Head Start over there and they sent a lady, I think there was two or three different ladies who came over at different times. And when he was three, they had to move on to something else. They couldn't take him after they were over three years old. She suggested I go to Fifth Street School and take uh, him there and see if he could get him in for speech and whatever. The lady went, that interviewed him went one direction and I went the other. And we talked about it, I talked about an hour with this lady interviewing me and then she came back in about an hour and said that he wasn't going to get in. He was too smart to get in there. And so they suggested we could take him to TriCap out here and try to get in here. So I did. I came out, I think the next day, and I brought him out. And uh, we came out and we interviewed and stuff, filled out the questions. And uh, uh, the lady said she wasn't sure, but she said she didn't think he'd get in because there was 34 kids on in front list. on a waiting list. She called me up the next day and she forgot to ask me a question. She said, are you a veteran or anything? And I said, yeah. And I said, I'm a disabled veteran. And she said, well, he's in. Because of being a veteran, they move you pretty well to the top of the list. Uh, they do have income guidelines and stuff, but I fell out of the income guideline because I made too much money. But he was still in need of services. So they took him because I, the main reason, because I was a veteran. He likes the kids. Like the kids? Mm hmm He likes the kids. He, he really does. The teachers are good. I uh, like two Jessa. teachers we've had here for two years. They're, they're um, really good teachers. And Daddy, I like dress up and babies. You do? Dress up and babies? You yeah, he know? likes that. Oh, mm -hmm. He likes dress up. Well, I'd recommend it to him because they're, if, if they, they look for different ways to give you assistance. I don't, I don't know all of them, don't claim to know all of them, but I know that there's different things in here that I don't even know about. And, and it's, it's always, it's like education. You, uh, you never get done educating. If you don't learn something during the day, you've wasted a day.